from demanding justice. Pathetic, absolutely the most pathetic thing I have ever seen. To finding a sense of closure. I'm proud, I'm just so proud that our city took this step. The story of one mother's push for change has been years in the making. This week, the Overland Park Police Department unveiled a completely revamped website. Now, while that might not seem like much to some, it means everything to Sheila Albers. She lost her son in 2018. Police were called to their house on reports that John had threatened suicide. But before they could make contact with the 17 year old, John was shot and killed by an Overland Park police officer as the teen backed out of the driveway in his family's minivan. Since then, the KSHB 41I team has covered nearly every aspect of this unfolding story. From legal battles and lawsuits to state and federal investigations. Through all of this, one thing Sheila has told me she wanted to see was more accountability and transparency from the police department. Finally this week, Sheila got her wish. When John Albers was fatally shot multiple times, Sheila Albers' world crumbled. The pain was further compounded when the district attorney ruled the shooting was justified, citing the officer's explanation that he felt his life was in jeopardy as the teenager backed out of the driveway. What was your reaction when Steve Howe decided not to file any charges when he ruled that the shooting was justified? I, I remember that meeting very vividly, I, and I remember feeling like all the air was sucked out of the room because I didn't understand why. Still, she pushed to get more information released. Ever since that meeting in February of um, 2018, I have actively sought answers to questions that I had information I was not getting, whether it be through open records requests, um, it, you know, research on the internet, um, just any way I could glean appropriate information. Her efforts attracted the attention of the Washington Post, whose team created a 3D scan of that shooting. They showed the digital scan to multiple experts who concluded the officer was never in harm's way. And they weren't the only ones who took notice. The FBI also got involved. As the I-team previously reported, after nearly two years of investigation, the FBI ultimately announced it would not indict the officer. But in an unusual move, they did issue a lengthy statement that made clear the FBI did not condone the officer's actions. I think what it's trying to say, although for the layperson it may be hard to understand, is they think this was definitely a bad shooting, an unreasonable shooting, uh, an unwarranted shooting. Former U.S. Attorney Stephen McAllister explained to us the lack of indictment just meant the FBI didn't feel it could prove the officer showed willful intent to deprive Albers of his civil rights. While that signaled the end of one fight for Sheila, there's been another fight she's long pursued. One thing you told me months ago that you wanted to see change was you wanted information accessible to the public. Yes. I know you wanted that on the district attorney's website. It's not on his website, but it is on Overland Park Police Department's website. What was your reaction when you saw the changes they'd made? I was floored in a positive way um, because Mayor Skoog and our new city manager, Lori Luther, did actually more than I expected. As for the mayor, Kurt Skoog, we sat down with him this week to talk about what prompted this change. Do you think this would have happened without Sheila Albers and her efforts? Well, I think Sheila gets credit for, for this as well as other people in the community. The mayor said before being recently elected, this was something he heard from constituents on the campaign trail and his office felt it was important to make that information accessible. For Sheila, it's a step that's helping rebuild the trust she says was previously broken for her family. So again, it's just a website, but there's a lot that you'll find on here. If you check this out again, it's on the city's website. You go to the police department tab. They have a whole section on transparency, their policies for anti-biased policing. This one's really interesting. They have data on the arrests they make broken down by demographic, by race, by sex, by age, by policies, tons of information, body cameras, you name it. You can go here and it's all in one space, very user friendly. Something Sheila said that she would like to see. She would like to see other police departments in Johnson County follow suit, putting all of this information online.
Meanwhile, we checked with the Kansas City Police Department. They said what Overland Park has done is pretty comparable to what they already have on their own website. They already have a section here online that tells you more about how you can make a police report, some dashboard data, and they actually have a tab dedicated to transparency where you can learn more as well. Bryant.